Ladies and gentlemen, I am Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and I think we all need to discuss this article that I found in The Independent. Now, this is in the UK, but has also been happening around here recently, too, as uh, I'm sure you're familiar with. This is something out of a bad science fiction novel. This is something out of a bad conspiracy theorist's dream, but it's actually happening. Pharmaceutical giant plotted to destroy a cancer drug to drive up prices 4,000%. Prices rise for generic cancer drugs uh, are estimated to cost the NHS in England around uh, 380 million, I believe that's pounds. And if I'm right, then that's pretty much double that Canadian. Anyways, leaked internal emails appear to show employees at one of the world's leading pharmaceutical companies calling for celebration over price hikes for cancer drugs and investigation. An investigation has released. Staff at Aspen's uh, Pharmacare reportedly plotted to destroy stocks of life-saving medication during the price dispute with Spanish healthcare in the early 2014s. After purchasing five different cancer drugs from British firm uh, the company tried to sell the medicine in Europe for 40 times the previous price, reported the Times. In 2003, the price of one pack of uh, chemotherapy drug called uh, Busulfan, used to treat leukemia, rose uh, in England, according to the newspaper. Anyways, the price went up. The price went up from 520 to 6522, which is just outrageous. And anyways, I'll leave the, the the link to the article in the description. But basically, that's what what we're getting at. This is actually happening. I'm sure we've all talked to people, or we've had the thought that cancer drugs can make a lot more money if, or, or any drug can make a lot more money if they treat the symptoms instead of actually cure it. And bam, here it is. It's happening. This is. This is frankly disgusting. Uh, I have a father that suffered and uh, had a, has a terminal case of cancer, uh, carcinoid syndrome. He was supposed to die when I was three years old. I'm a lot older than that right now, luckily, and it was due to the help of doctors that were willing to, to work with this extremely rare version of cancer that my father had, and from taxpayers in Canada. Thank God for the taxpayers. I will never complain about the taxes in Canada with everything that my family's been through on both sides of things. Anyways, how can it be? How, how can we have a society that lives like this? How is it that these people are allowed to only pay fines that don't even equal the money that they were made? It's like we have all of these corporations that are treated like people but you can't incarcerate them, and everyone's too unwilling to do anything about them. And they're only going to stop if we all stop buying But you know what? We can't stop buying it. We have to buy it because these are the only options. And it's just unbelievably disgusting. Now, there is a good piece in Reddit about this. This guy has uh, been gilded five times. Uh, it may come as harsh, but it is my personal opinion that if you knowingly destroy or suppress research that would advance your uh, your uh, species for personal gain, it should count as a crime against humanity and punishable as such on a global scale. And I definitely totally agree with this. Now, it's unfortunate about what's happened in the markets these days. Everything is on the stock market. And the, the at the end of the day, the end user or the person holding the stock wants that stock to go up. And they don't really care how it happens as long as it goes up or down. So people that are within these companies, people that are within these corporations, are trying to get benefit for the stockholder or for the owner and they end up they end up just screwing over the entire world just to make themselves a little more money just because what they're doing isn't technically illegal even though in a lot of situations we should just know you shouldn't be doing some of this stuff there's not only is there no personal responsibility or there's no guilt in the corporation they even even individuals these days aren't even caring about what they do if it's bad for humankind for mankind as long as it gets you money as long as it's legal so if it's legal and if it makes you money it's okay and that's all anybody cares about because there's this blind spot between the board of directors and the shareholders all they want is money and at the end of it 
the board of directors are getting money from ultimately the end user and the end user is often the stockholder the people are are the stockholders they, everyone has the ability to hold these stocks and all again all anybody's worried about is the stock going up and down but no one thinks about personal responsibility nobody thinks about corporate responsibility anyways uh, we now live in the kind of world where corporate entity can do more damage than any government. The damage done by these entities is far greater and far further reaching than any bomb or army. Yet these groups remain almost entirely untouchable. A fine that doesn't even equal the profits made by the crime is not a punishment. By making this kind of treatment unaffordable to most of the population, uh, the same thing uh, that has been happening to diabetics for decades, you are indirectly, systematically, killing off a population. To me, that sounds awful lot like, uh, it sounds an awful lot like for-profit genocide in which the survivors are indebted servants to medical debt. And it's just so unfortunate what you guys have to do in the States to get uh, yourself treated. If you hurt yourself, that can be the end of it. You're not uh, you're not working anymore. Maybe nobody's paying for you. All based on the dollar. All based on people who want to make money off other people's suffering. And it's uh, it's disgusting. There's a lot of people out there who are highly respected making money off other people's suffering. And geez, something something's got to be done here. Something's definitely got to be done. But unfortunately, money rules the world. Money makes the world go round, as we've seen recently with Congress. Money can buy laws, and I'm saying that because I'm, what I'm talking about is the the repeal of FCC law saying that your ISPs can't sell your internet, and now they can. The Congress sold it. We can be bought. We can all be bought, and it's disgusting. Now that that is American politics, and this is European politics, but it's disgusting. This kind of stuff happens regularly. Uh, remember there was that guy that... I'm going to look into this. Give me a sec. Alright, here he is. I found him. Martin Shriekly. I don't, I don't even care to know his last name. Anyways, he bought a drug that was supposed to help HIV patients and uh, bumped the price unbelievably. Uh, this time he tried to increase the price of Tyhola from sorry if I got that wrong from a buck fifty to thirty dollars a pill. Really, people like this are taking us and dragging us back into into nothingness, and it's unfortunate. Someone's got to do something, but nobody technically can. You got to have money if you want to attack people like this. It's definitely unfortunate that we've gotten to a point where people are more interested in uh, their financial well-being than uh, the good of the group, the good of the everyman. But unfortunately, that's just what we're like. It's what we've come to. I gotta say, capitalism has done a lot for us in a lot of places. It's definitely kicked the pants off of communism. But we're not perfect. We gotta figure this stuff out. We gotta keep our people alive and breathing. We can't be doing this, people. It's just amazing. How do these people sleep at night knowing that they're raising drug prices? This is something, again, this is something from out of a bad science fiction book. And someone's gotta do something. We gotta take action. And I have no idea how to, but Jesus, something's got to be done. If if it was a different time in a different place, if maybe if I was in America and I didn't have good health insurance, let's face it, in America you go in and you, you break a leg and you're not exactly sure what your health care is. You might as well be spinning a wheel of fortune to figure out what your bill is going to be. Just amazing. I can't believe there are people like this out there. we got to do something about this. Going forward, we got to change this, people. we got to change laws. we got to change the way things go. Make sure this doesn't happen. Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from T Nev's Tech Bits. I'll give you an update if I hear anything more about this, if this pans out or if they make any laws against this kind of disgusting stuff. But that's it for me. Have a good one, folks, and take care of each other.